Our friend Berta Lipper is back and with the holiday weekend here, take a look at this spread. Thank you so much, Berta, for coming back. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure to have you. Uh, you always come with some great healthy tips and uh, some great food. <laughs> so we're going to do some burgers today. Uh, what? What is so special about these burgers? Well, this would be a good transition. You know, last time we were together, we talked about the cancer control diet and mm -hmm. trying to limit the red meat. So this is a Greek turkey, turkey burger recipe, which would be perfect for someone who's just trying to wean themselves off from regular hamburger. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And uh, we have some tzatziki sauce, too. We do. We're going to start with that, actually, okay. um, making this. So what I have here, if anybody is familiar with tzatziki sauce, they know that there's usually grated cucumber in there. But I've taken that out, but I promise we're going to be using cucumber in a minute to get that flavor. <laughs> so for ours, in fact, if you want to have this, or me, I will dump. There's only four ingredients. Okay. And that is a uh, half a cup of non fat Greek yogurt in plain. And then this is just the juice of a half a lemon. Oh, okay. Got a couple of cloves of minced garlic here that we're going to add in there. And then you'll see these flavors are going to go throughout the turkey burger, the salad. Everything's going to blend together perfectly. And then we just have a quarter teaspoon of dill that we would mix okay. in. Okay. That seems simple enough. Yeah, super simple. And this is a traditional dip you'd see, or they would use it um, veal or lamb mm -hmm. type of dip. Oh, you can smell that dill yeah, too. Yeah, it's fantastic. Delicious. So we would make that up ahead of time and then okay. just set that aside and we would move over to the turkey burgers. Okay. So this now in here would be all of the ingredients that we use. So it's pretty simple. And I know the first ingredient might sound odd for a burger, but just trust me, okay. what you want to add in there is two cups of torn up raw spinach. Which, again, I know okay. it sounds a little bit different, but when you taste them, it's fantastic. So we have two cups of raw spinach. Okay. And then one pound of lean ground turkey, a half a cup of feta cheese, a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, I love sun-dried oh, tomatoes. Oh, me too. And then when you bite into that flavor with these, mm. it's fantastic. Now, the other half of the lemon we used in here, so the juice of half a lemon and a little bit of garlic, as well as here now is um, oregano, a quarter teaspoon oh, of oregano. Oh, wonderful. So what we do is we'd mix this well, and we'd have the patties like we would see here. Oh, we nice. can get these They're very going colorful too with yeah. the spinach in there. You know, a lot of the recipes I found, they would use um, frozen spinach. Okay. And I much prefer raw, and it's a lot easier too. Yeah. So with the frozen spinach, would you have to. You'd uh, have to cook it and drain it right, all the drain water. It. You right. added steps there then. Yeah, and I just think it looks a lot better, and I like the texture a lot better. So we'll let those cook up. But what you'd want to make sure you do is cook your burgers till the internal temperature is 165 degrees. Okay. So you want to make sure you have a thermometer. If it's rainy this Monday, we can use an electric grill just like That's we're showing right. here, right? So no matter where you're cooking those. <laughs> now while those are going, we can explain the salad okay, that we have perfect. here. Okay, perfect. This looks delicious too. Yeah, these are fantastic flavors all together. Now this, my favorites are kale and spinach. Mm -hmm. You could use any green that you'd like. This is just um, some kale and spinach then. And the dressing here is a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil with a half a cup of vinegar. And there's flexibility there too. If you okay. like balsamic or apple cider or red wine vinegar, whatever you'd want to use. And we also put a half of a lemon, the juice in there. And then this one, we're going to use the same flavoring as the turkey burger. So there's a quarter teaspoon of oregano. Oh, so we wonderful. mix that up. Yeah. Well, you definitely see the similarities between these exactly. two. Exactly. Kind of infuse those ingredients through the whole meal, which yep. is very cool. Very cool. Fantastic. And then again, the feta cheese. And we've got some tomatoes and some olives, some onions. So that would be our salad that goes great with the burger. Smells burgers. so fresh in here. I know. It, I wish it people like could summer. smell it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> and, and so, oh, and, go ahead. and then we have uh, some delicious drinks here yeah. as well. This is so simple. When I have people that are trying to quit drinking soda, this is something that I often recommend because all it is is slicing up your favorite fruit. Or I do have like a cucumber and mint and um, lemon too, whatever flavors that you like, and then just put some mineral water, some sparkling water on top oh, of it. Oh, great idea to yeah. give a little carbonation. Exactly, because a lot of people, that's what they like about the soda. And so no sodium, no sugar, no calories either. Oh, wonderful. And those, yeah. And it's very nice looking too. It's, it's very pretty, very fun. It's very looking, very festive. And then how long do we do we let them cook? These this are usually, take a little bit of while. Yeah, I, typically when I use an electric grill, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so I put it on low and cook it maybe six to seven minutes each side, but that's why you wanted to have a thermometer to make sure that the internal temperature is correct. So when that's done, they'll look kind of like our cooked burgers that we have here. You would just take the tzatziki sauce okay. and put that on your bun here. Oh yeah. What a colorful meal. Yes. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> and then we're good to go. And there's our finished product. Wonderful. Well, we'll let these cook up a little bit more and then, uh, in a little bit, I think Dana and I will give them a try. So they look delicious, it smells delicious, and we'll have this recipe posted for you. Berta will have it on her website, which then we'll post to our website, WGIO.com. Great meal to try out with the family this weekend. Thank you so much, yeah, Berta, for coming. It's always a pleasure. We can't wait to see what you come up with next time. <laughs> Sounds good, thanks. <laughs>